Hi, I'm Andy Kinder. You join me here at the fantastic Boston Lakes Complex here in Soil, where today we're going to show you some new rods we've just brought out, the new Signature Pro XS 12 foot feeders and also the 10 foot 6 bomb feeder as well. Hopefully we're going to catch a few carp for you, put these rods seriously through the paces because I'm telling you now, they are one seriously, seriously good piece of kit and well worth investing technology what's gone into him is A1 and uh, like I said hopefully we're going to catch a few fish and uh, see what it's like for you. So first I'm going to be doing a bit, of, uh, a bit of distance method work possibly out at 70 meters where we're going to put this little 12 foot baby through its, uh, through its paces. I'm going to be feeding a shorter line uh, where then we're going to switch to a bomb we've been priming it with a few pellets and things like that and hopefully we can catch a few fish on that and show you the true action of that rod also. Right, let me talk to you about the 12 foot. Being designed by Lee Edwards, uh, our place, so I had a little bit of input in this as well. And uh, feeder fishing seems to be the big thing at the minute, be it method feeder, be it bream fishing and things like that, distance work. And uh, we felt we needed a rod which were more than capable of throwing a method feeder 70, 80, 90 plus yards or a normal ground bait feeder, that, that thing. And, and this is what we've done. So we've gone with the 12 foot model. I know there's a lot of people who use 13s and 14 foot models, but the 12 foot model, if it's designed right, will get you them casting capabilities well out there to 70, 80 plus meters. So here we have it. There's a Signature Pro model. You can see Fuji reel seat and Fuji guides all the way through, SIC guides. Nice reel seat. Not a thin reel seat handle, something what you can, you know, seriously get your, get your hand round and, and like play it because nothing worse than a slim gripped handle because it gives you cramp in your hand. When you're playing these big fish, you need something to grab hold of. So there it is. Half cork, half duplin handle. Nice little touch. I like little touches like this. Just says Signature Pro. I think that's the bit of a tart in me, that one. Like. But you've got that nice that Signature Pro little bit in there. Don't catch you any more fish, but it certainly makes you look better on bank and that's what we all want to do. Comes with two tips, two tips, carbon tips. You've got an ounce and a half and two ounce tip with them, which is quite adequate for bite, present, bite recognition uh, and also its casting capabilities. One thing I do like, like I say, I've mentioned it before, the new SIC guides, quite a big guide. You know, a lot of people were using shock leaders for now for distance work and you need that shock leader not to go through. So all designed, everything in that. Action wise, I think they're absolutely superb. You know, you can't have a real through action rod when it comes to casting distances. It needs a little bit of, little bit of backbone, a little bit of grunt in it, and, uh, and that's what they've got. So, right, let me, uh, let me get it filled up. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna launch it to the horizon, hopefully, whack it out there and see what we can get. Standard method feeder set up. I've got a 38 gram UFO feeder. You'll notice it's elasticated, perfectly allowed on here. Not for, every, uh, not for every commercial, but they are allowed here at Boston. But it is a safe system. That will pull off and pull through if, uh, if we do tether a fish or we do crack off. Not messing about. I've got a size 12 CS24 hook on there. Bayonet, little pink boiler to start with. All 20 hook lens. Like I said, some of these carp in Boston easily go to 20 pounds, so uh, we, need to, uh, we need to tackle them accordingly. Right, let's get some pellets in it. Dead, dead straightforward, really. We're just loading, uh, loading them up with pellets. These feeders are really easy to mould. Put my bait bang in the middle of it. Wrap a few around. Don't, don't be afraid to squeeze your pellets on. You know, these type of feeders, once they get in the water, the pellets react quick and they come out. There we have it, nice little parcel. What carp in its right mind couldn't resist that? Just like a little mouse. Right, MVR reel, 4,000, that's loaded up with 024 carp feeder mono. See, nice green color, matches this water. Great, great line for distance work. Uh, sinks fairly well, although I think we'll have a problem because it is a flat calm day today, but it does sink quite good. Right, time for casting. Right, see, I've got, I've got quite a drop on my rod. I need to power that rod up. I need to put the full fulcrum of that rod. It's all done with your left hand. Your left hand powers the rod, 
uh, and it puts that feeder out towards the horizon. So, you know, nice steady. Pick your marker, far bank, dead easy. Got a, got a lovely tree over there where I'm going to pick my marker to. Nice and steady. And there we go. Hit the clip. In it goes. So you know when the people, when they're casting with, with, uh, with methods, they, they don't feather it in and it needs to go in with that nice, delicate plop. That nice, delicate plop as it goes in. All the bait's still on the feeder. That one took off, it nearly pulled rod in. So here we go, we're, we're, we're finally attached to a carp. I think it nearly pulled me in as well as I hooked it. But uh, here we go. Now we can see true action of these rods. It's kiting around late. Can hear I've got my clutch set. Clutch is working, working, working perfect. That fish ever wants to run off, it can go. I can, but still got my bike wind if I want to. But clutch is working as well. I think it's trying to get to Coventry, this one. Beautiful action on this rod. Really, really nice. You know, considering it's a proper, you know, it's a proper powerful rod, it's got it's got a lovely fish playing action. These fish when we hook them in Barston like, you know, it's only a shallow lake and they go like hell. And this one's decided to set off that way down that lake, but it's coming back to me now. We we're keeping it under control. We had a change of bait that cast. We uh, went from a pink boily uh, to an orange one. Instant, instant, uh, instant bite on it. So, you know, little tip there for you. You know, don't think that every, you know you can just fish with the same bait all the time. It pays. To, it pays to keep changing the your bait. Here we are. This fish is under his feet. This is where I see loads and loads of people go wrong when they they playing fish. The hardest job in the world is is getting the bite. Once you've got that bite. Just take your time and get it in. You could be playing a match winning fish, what could win you match this final. So just take your time. Like I say, I always say to people, you know, the hardest job is getting the bite. Once you've got the bite, it's just a case of uh, landing that fish. Elastic's doing its job in that feeder. It's keeping uh, everything cushioned. Not a massive fish by bars and standards, but it's still a good fish. Don't don't want to rush with it. It's on steroids. Here we go. Finally we get him in. Bigger than what I thought. Nice and steady to spread a block. Perfectly up. Perfectly up right in.
the bottom lip. Let's try and mold him up for you. There we have it. Lovely Barston carp, caught in the 12 foot signature pro feeder. I think we've shown it can uh, do its stuff. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna slip him in the net where I've been feeding the other line at uh, like 25 meters. We're gonna bring out the 10 foot six bomb feeder, show you the bomb work and uh, put that little beauty through its paces. But there he is, let's put him in the net. Just gonna switch that bomb. I've been feeding it for a while now. I mean, but <laughs> I didn't take long, did it? <laughs> Took my eyes off it for a minute and it went out. Yeah, switched over to his bomb setup. We've got the 10 foot six signature pro feeder. I'll be doing on this. Totally different rod to the one I were first using the 12 foot. A lot, lot different in its action and its uh, its capabilities. But same rod guides, Fuji guides all the way through. Lovely Fuji reel seat, but this rod is, is your typical bomb short feeder rod range. It's a lot, lot softer, a lot more progressive in its action, which on your shorter rods for when we're fishing, potentially lighter uplands in winter, uh, or smaller feeders, or even bombs like this, you know, to catch double figure fish. We need that lovely, lovely through action, as you can see there. So. Again, I'm taking, no, I'm taking no prisoners on this. We've got the MVR 3000 reel, which again, smaller reel, but a lot more suited to this rod, a little bit lighter in, it, in its pickup. Uh, still got O24 main line. You know, the last thing, the last thing I want is the, the main line to potentially let me down. Standard bomb setup. It's a fixed bomb, one of the, one of the zinc pair leads. It's, it's only, uh, a 10 gram because uh, one thing I have found I, I think on a lot of uh, a lot of venues I think the carp can be can be quite switched on to bombs I think uh, they think they know something's wrong like so I like to try and keep my lead literally as small as possible to uh, try and emulate as I'm catapulting some pellets in I want it to sound exactly the same as a pellet in the water so little light lead Use it on all your commercials, you'll, you'll find that the lighter the lead, the better it is anyway. But a size 14 CS24 on, just a banded pellet, just a banded pellet hook length. Dead, dead easy setup. But I've got uh, O20 hook lens, O20 MVR, MVR rig mono hook length. Awesome line for this game. Here we have him. Got him. Not massive, but a nice fish, all the same. Like I said, you just you know, it just goes to prove that we've we've been feeding that line. We've seen a little bit of action on it, and. Uh, We've got one nigh on first chuck on it. I don't think he wants to play ball, but here you can see. Beautiful fish. Let's get him in net. And I'll talk to you a bit more about this rod and hopefully catch you a few more fish. Right, let's talk you through the 10 foot six Signature Pro bomb feeder. What a lovely, lovely piece of kit this is. It's like, yeah. An awesome, awesome rod for any, any short distance or any bomb fishing, what, what you're likely to do. Right, let's turn a little bit through it. Exactly the same spec as what's on the Signature Pro XS 12 foot. It's the very, very same carbons, all high grade carbon what's used on it. Again, Fuji SIC guides all the way through. You'll notice slightly smaller on this rod because we're not actually chucking mega mega distances with this so we've you know we've gone for the smaller guys to keep the weight of the rod down as well a lot lot slimmer profile blank still got the nice fuji reel seat half duplon half cork again nice little uh, touch with the signature pro in the handle but again another reel seat what you can get hold of 
Now the action on these rods, again, it comes with two tips, but the action on these rods, you'll notice is a lot, lot, lot softer. It's a more progressive action, which is what you need for any bomb fishing or short feeder work or, you know, even a small method uh, on some commercials where you're chucking it like 15, 20 metres, you know, this rod's absolutely perfect for that. But the action is a lot, lot more forgiving because, like I said, we're not chucking the mega distances, but this is a real beauty of a rod. Matched it with the MVR 3000 reel. I've got all 24 line in it again. I'm not frightened to put a big heavy line through this rod because this will land you any double figure carp that's swimming in any of our lakes in, uh, in the UK. So that's not a problem. Bomb. Got a nice little 10 gram zinc pair lead, which we do. Like I said, I'm a big believer in, in like using small, small leads. I think the carp are getting very, very wise to them. They don't like big leads crashing in. They're perfect. They make the same noise as a pellet hitting the water. Brilliant, brilliant setup. A nice foot hook length, 020 MVR rig mono hook, hook length. Awesome line. Mike's up superb and really, really strong. I know it's not going to let me down because I'll guarantee you now the bites you're getting on this, they're going to pull the rod in. So, you know, you want the full setup. Size 12, CS24 hook, banded pellet, it's dead, it's dead easy, it's as, it's as straightforward as that. And you'll notice I've got, I've got my bomb fixed, I just tie a little link swivel on the end of my main line and I attach my hook length into that. And I've got a little bit of spiralled up bottom, just dead easy. And that, that's it, that's as it stands. This is the kit, let's put it through its paces and look, we uh, see a bit of carbon bending. There we have it. Proof of the pudding is in the eating, so they set, and there it went. It's round it's gone. We're attached to a Barston carp. You can definitely see action on this rod. You can see you can see the vast difference in the rod. It's a lot, lot more progressive in its action, which is perfect for any, you know, bomb fishing, short feeder work. Awesome. I really enjoy using this rod here because uh, some of these fish can be big. We haven't had none of the real big ones, but the actual action of it and fish playing capabilities of it are, are, are first class. And like I said, we, we try to we try to put a lot of effort into what we do with these rods to make them right. You know, for you guys out there, what are potentially going to buy these rods? You know, they need to be right. And if we're using them, we want them right for you. And if it puts more fish on bank for us, exactly, that's what we want. So let's try and get. Uh, Try and get this one in, unless it pulls me in off my box, because I'm not the biggest of people. The whole time it will, we've done a hard bit, we've had to, uh, we've had to potentially try and get, get the bite, so just take us time. This is where that progressive action comes in, that lovely, nice, soft through action. Got them under your rod tip. The most crucial part in any when we're playing any fish when we get them to this latter stage. Here we go. Over the pan. Ooh. Come on, settle down. There we have him. Lovely Boston carp to finish with. 
put the new signature rods through the paces. I'm sure a few of them uh, have pulled the string. So make sure you go into your local Maver dealer, check out the new signature rods, because they're one serious piece of kit. Look forward to seeing you soon. Tight lines.